Welcome back, my name is Steve. I wanna show you six tips how to save money doing projects yourself. All right guys, so the first step that I wanna talk about is your air filter. This is where it's gonna save you some money, especially when you go to a shop and you ask for it and they're gonna charge you that one hour to a half hour minimum. And this will only take less than five minutes. And you're only gonna need one tool, one flathead tool to get that uh, air filter out. And that's where it's gonna save you a ton of money, just doing a little project yourself. All right, the second one I wanna go over would be your cabin air filter. So this one is, happens to be on a Freightliner Cascadia. And again, you're only gonna need one tool, which will be a T30 torque bit. You remove two screws and it would slide right out and you put it in and you put it, you put everything back together. And this one will also take less than five minutes to do. And this will also save you a lot of money not getting that uh, hour minimum or half hour minimum by just doing this yourself. So step three I wanna talk about is when you guys have lights out inside the cab, your cigarette lighter might be out or even the lights out on your trailer. The first place I would always start is check your fuses. Just don't hop to the shop and say, I have this down because they're gonna go straight to the most expensive things, lights, wire harnesses. If you take the time and do it yourself, this one might take a little bit more time, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, but this will save you a lot of money by just checking fuses. All right, the fourth thing I wanna go over is when you get a light indicating on the dash for a regen. Now you don't have to take it to the shop to get the computer hooked up and start doing a regen. Most of the time you can do every, all of it yourself by just pushing the button on the dash and that will get the regen going and that should save you a few hundred dollars as well. So when doing the regen on the truck, that information is gonna be on the driver's side in the visor. If you actually pull it down, it'll tell you step by step what you need to do. All right, the fifth thing is when you get a check engine light and you need to pull the codes. On a Freightliner Cascadia, there's a few things that you can do right from the driver's seat. This will save you money by doing it yourself than going to the shop and getting hit with a $200 or $300 computer hookup just by spending about 15 minutes of your time, look through the code, get your the mechanic on the phone just to save you money. All right, the sixth thing I wanna go over is replacing a cab airbag. It may look like a lot, but it isn't. It would literally take five minutes of your time and this will save you money as well. I know that I've, over the years I've had customers say, why did it take five minutes? And we still get charged an hour minimum by the shop. And that's where you could save the money by just doing it yourself. So doing it yourself, you would need a few tools. Believe it or not, that you keep like a car jack that you keep in your car and then a flathead screwdriver and you pull it out with your hands. It's that simple. All right, guys, hopefully these uh, six tips were very helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, don't forget to leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next video.